Uh, and I suppose the question that's not on there uh, is, uh, could you introduce yourself with your name, your pronouns, and your position? Sure. My name is Jean Helms. I'm the Administrative Director for the Unitarian Church, and my pronouns are she and they. All right. So what, for you, is a moment from the last year that, that represents the year as a whole? Or failing that, what's a fun story from the last year that, that uh, you want included in the service? <laughs> well, you know, thinking about this question, there were a few things that popped into my head. The, the one that is more of a feeling um, is that, uh, that feeling that we get when you have absolutely no reference point to what day of the week it is. And honestly, that stopped being funny a long time ago. The, the Blur's Day jokes stopped being funny to me a long time ago. But um, I'm surprised by how many days I have had in the last year when I literally did not know what day it was. There's, there's a lot more reference points when you have to have other things during your day, you know, going to work or picking up the child from school or, so that's happened many, many times. Um, and I think we've, we've held each other in grace with that a lot because it's happened to all of us. But the, the thing that really stands out, if I had to name one moment, it would probably be that moment uh, where you're trying to record a one minute video for a, for a service and it gets interrupted at least five times. Um, I've had to learn to build in extra time for those things because inevitably if I start recording, the doorbell will ring and then the dog will start barking and then someone in the family will open the door of the office where I'm trying to record. Um, and, and that's not even counting the number of times that I have mispronounced someone's name or stumbled over my words. And I just think the blooper reel is gonna be potentially pretty long. <laughs> those, those are the moments that um, really stand out to me because we've recorded so much for Sunday services in particular. Yeah, we've talked a lot about what to do with this this mythical blooper reel. I'm I'm a little concerned because I know my blooper reel is not PG rated at all. Right. Uh, from, from this year. Um, ah. So uh, this is a kind of a grim question, but what's a what's a place that you think we've fallen short or been challenged by? in the last year as a congregation? Wow. Um, well, the challenge by is a, a part that wasn't in the original question. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna challenge you on that one. Um, when you ask the original question, which is what one place we've fallen short, I, I'm really struggling to think of some way to answer that. I think we've done an amazing job. Um, I took it to a personal level when I was thinking about that though. and thinking about the fact that if I had had foresight, I would have made time or scheduled time to spend with people one-on-one -on -one much more in the fall while it was still nice out because I knew that the winter would be difficult. I knew that um, there would be a lot of things that would change with not being able to see people in person out of doors, but mm -hmm. I didn't realize how much it would affect me and and how difficult that would be so that could be a personal on a personal level it, it could also be um in relation to members and friends of the church um i think there were some opportunities lost um in being able to see people in person even if it was just for a few minutes outside mm -hmm. on the other hand i think that we've really done an amazing job of um, staying in touch and and identifying people who are um, on the margins for whatever reason, people who um, we were concerned about, um, who who we hadn't seen in a while. We've we've consistently had those conversations and consistently kept that on our radar. So I would say that that would have been my answer, but at the same time, I feel like we've really done a lot and and taken that very seriously. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> There have been lots of challenges, so I'm not really sure uh, 
you know, how to answer that question um, on the fly, but um, even, even the things that have come up um, that we've had to respond to quickly, for example, in a year ago, I feel like we really mm -hmm. stepped up to the plate and we all rallied to the challenge, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm really interested that, that you sort of pulled out last fall, because I don't think we've talked about, in, in the conversation that I've had, I don't know that we've talked about that, that moment before. And I don't know how much we communicated this to the, the broader congregation, but in July and August, we had started to talk about um, outdoor events. Uh, we, had, we had started to look into what an outdoor worship service in the fall might look like. And, and we got sort of midway into the planning phase of that. And then the first week in September, the case rates started going up and never really went down again until January. Right. And so it was an interesting moment of, you know, the, there was, there was a window there. I'm not sure. I think we were a little slow to catch it. And by the time we caught it, it was into the fall surge. Um, Too late for the weather. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And actually um, I will say, I'm really looking forward to the opportunity to explore outdoor services. Um, we've done it a little bit but um, they've all, they've been really enjoyable and they have their own challenges um, as we know. But if that's, if that's uh, a stepping stone yeah. um, before getting back into 100% in person, I'm really looking forward to putting some energy there and exploring that. Yeah. So what's the thing that we've done well as a congregation in the last year? Well, um, you know, I, when I saw this question, as far as like, what's a success or what have, what have we done? Well, I was thinking about when I was revamping the website and I was trying to decide what to put on my, the members page on, um, my little blurb and listing all of the things that we've done online. So mm -hmm. to say that clearly, I think one of the things that we have had success with this year is the shift to online and, and being creative, trying to offer a lot of different opportunities for people to participate in things online. Um, you know, really right off the bat with the talent show, uh, Super Supper, we've had ongoing activities with classes and coffee hour game night. Um, you know, it, a lot of things, um, outside of worship, which I, if I had had been asked this question and trying to look forward, I wasn't, I wouldn't have really, um, I think predicted mm -hmm. the number of things that we've been able to offer online. Um, the committees themselves have continued meeting for the most part online and, um, adult education has rallied and offered online classes. We had winter lecture series. We've offered, you know, weekly evening services in addition to the Sunday service. So um, I think that, you know, when you look at it, the, the list all together, it's pretty outstanding. Yeah. And so as we, as we start to move from this year that's passed into whatever comes next, what opportunities do you see emerging in the coming year? The biggest thing to me is that I think if we can successfully <clears throat> merge into a hybrid situation, <clears throat> excuse me, especially for meetings, um, things like that, I think that it'll give more people an opportunity to be involved. Um, if we are not constrained by our old ideas that all meetings had to be in person 100%, mm -hmm. um, if, you know, if we can continue to offer hybrid options, I think more people will be able to participate. It opens the door, for example, for people who have children, you know, who might be able to participate in a one hour meeting online, but if they had to add in the time to drive to the church, you know, one, you know, thus making it really a two hour commitment, it might eliminate them. And, and really parents aren't the only, um, 
people I'm thinking of, uh, there are a lot of examples of that, but I, I really think that we, now that we've had a taste of it and offering things online, we know that some people do take advantage of that and um, that it will open the doors to more people participating in a larger number of our events. Mm -hmm. Anything else that we wanna include as part of, <laughs> as part of this? <laughs> Uh, let's not do this again anytime soon. Yeah, that sounds let's good. Let's not have another pandemic anytime <laughs> soon. Um, <laughs> though, really, though, um, whether you include this in the end interview or not, it, I would say that um, this, I, I'm really grateful that I live in Lincoln, Nebraska. I feel like our community has really come together in supporting each other. I feel like the Unitarian Church has um, rallied to support people in our community, whether or not they were directly um, a member or a friend of the church. And that is something to be proud of. Um, this community has come out in support of others in the community in ways that I would not have imagined. Um, and, and I, you know, I had, you know, given some thought to that. Um, I didn't know that it would be in the form of a pandemic, um, but I, you know, I have thought about what would happen if we had a collapse of our economy or some kind of major event happen and, and would we be able to rally and support each other? And I think we've proven that we really can do that and that um, there's a lot of kind giving people in this community. So I'm really grateful that, that I live here. All right. Um, I, I do have to share this because I I think you'll appreciate it. I yesterday started digging through our YouTube analytics and mm -hmm. in particular the terms that people have put into YouTube. Yeah. That have gotten them to the playlist of daily updates. Uh -huh. And one of them was was people searching for um, hair care products. <laughs> what? And, and they somehow ended up at the Unitarian Church of Lincoln um, daily update um, page. <laughs> it's been interesting to see how, how folks find us in this new <laughs> technological yeah. world. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, thank you. I guess, um, you know, some of those questions were hard Really, I mean, I was joking about it um, with someone else and saying, you know, there's some things I just, I'm not going to say on camera, you know? Yeah, no, for sure. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's been a year. It's been a long year. It has been. It has been. Yeah. So. All right. I'm going to stop this recording now. <laughs>